Good afternoon and welcome to daily stock market update. The DSEX returned to positive territory today, gaining 15.64 points or 0.24% and settling at 6,484 points. Market turnover was BDT 9.2 billion, which is an increase of 24.31% compared to the previous trading day. Berger Paints, Walton, BSRM Steel, BSRM and Kashim Industries from the industrial sector, Bragg Bank, Islami Bank Bangladesh, National Bank and Rupali Bank from the banking sector and Maxon spinning mills from the textile sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the mutual fund sector registered the highest gain of 2.57%, while the textile sector posted the second highest gain of 1.27%. On the other hand, the general insurance sector registered the highest loss of 1.18%. Nine mutual fund companies and four textile companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Make the insurance company Shine Pukur Ceramics and CAPM Bill Mutual Fund 1 registered the highest gain, while Shonar Bangla Insurance, Eastern Lubricants and CBO Petrochemical Refinery were the top losers. Make the insurance company was the top gainers as the stock made its trading debut today. There was no disclosed price sensitive information for the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Rainwick Jajnishar, CAPM Bill Mutual Fund 1 and Paramount Insurance increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Rainwick Jajnishar and Paramount Insurance increased in volume even though both of them responded to a query from DSC today that there is no undisclosed price sensitive information behind their recent price and volume hike. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for CAPM BDBL Mutual Fund 1. Today's top two news. The government is considering a target 15.4% increase in its broad money supply in the next fiscal year, which will exceed the nominal gross domestic product growth by 2.3%, while the finance ministry has considered higher money supply to achieve the target domestic credit flow of 16% which contradicts the priority of checking inflation rather than focusing on growth. This decision may add further inflationary pressure in the economy, which will eventually lead to further price hike of goods and services. To reduce production costs, the government is planning to cut source tax of raw material supplies to manufacturers from the existing 7% to 4% in the upcoming national budget. This is expected to help reduce production cost and increase competitiveness for companies. In addition, companies will be brought under the Income Tax Act instead of Companies Act and audit report submission will be made compulsory for all business entities, business regulators and authorities. The government has taken this initiative to bring both companies and auditors under tax compliance and to stop fake financial statements submission. That's all for today. We'll be back again tomorrow with more updates on Hacker Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.